Number two, Dash Tsai, freshman, attack, the Bishop School, La Jolla. Number four, Oliver Delano, junior, defense LSM, Valley Center High School. Number five, Benjamin Smith, senior, uh, Mitty, Walter Payton, college prep, Chicago. Number six, Sutton Yasmino, freshman, play goalie, Central Catholic High School, North Plains, Oregon. My name's Ethan Hellman, I'm a junior. I play midfield. I went to Dalton High School, and I'm from New York City. Number eight, Brian Hanley, I'm a senior. Midfield, went to Del Barton High School, North Caldwell, New Jersey. I'm number nine, my name is John Whiting. I'm a senior playing defense. Um, I went to the Lawrenceville School in New Jersey, and I'm from San Francisco, California. My name is Alec Manko, aka Goober Horse. I'm a junior, my position is a midfielder. I graduated from UWC Atlantic College. I'm from Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. I'm number 12. My name is Grady Hoffman. I'm a freshman. Uh, I play midfield, went to Los Altos High School, and grew up in Los Altos, California. I'm number 14, Brian McJanet. Uh, I'm a freshman. Uh, I play defense. I went to Cigar Prep, and I'm from Menlo Park, California. Number 16, Reed Findlay, senior attackman. Went to Phillips Academy Andover. I'm from Sudbury, Massachusetts. Number 19, Zach Hoffman. I'm a junior and I play LSM. I went to a Harker from San Jose. Uh, number 20, Devin Smith. I'm a freshman. I play MIDI. I went to Head Royce High School and I live in Lafayette. Number 21, Decker Paulmeyer. I'm a junior. I play close defense from Bluffton High School, born and raised in Bluffton, South Carolina. Number 22, Michael Mathazzoli. I'm a junior, I play midi and attack. I went to Riverdale Country School and I'm from New York City. Number 23, Mike Mahold, uh, senior defenseman from Dallas, Texas. Number 27, TC Pettit, junior. I play midi. I grew up playing lacrosse at Loyola High School in LA. I'm number 29, Cole Gertner, uh, sophomore, midfielder uh, from Portola Valley, California. Number 31, James Zhang, sophomore, attack from Barn City High School, Barn City, New York. Number 39, Kyle Haslett, freshman, play defense, Indianapolis, Indiana, Bishop Strong High School. Number 40, Davis McCain, I'm a freshman, play defense, Cardinal Gibbons High School, straight out of Chapel Hill, North Carolina.
go, Egg! Let's go, boys! We go, Blue! 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 Let's go, Chris! Yeah, Reed! There you go, Mike! Let's go,
Let's win this one, boys. Let's go. Here we go, Mike. Let's win this one. Let's go, boys. Oh, yeah, Brian. Defense needs to talk! Defense talk! Hey, Razor! Pressure! 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 Yeah, ball down! Ball down!
start stopping. Go left! Chalk it out, boys! Chalk it out! No walking! Let's go! Chris. Let's go, Blue! Blue D, let's go! Blue Bees, let's go! Let's chalk it up! Let's go walking! Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is the also, if you were running, you'd have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine,
cloudy day in Novato as the Sonoma Seawolves prepare to play the Stanford Cardinal in the 2013 Western Collegiate Lacrosse League Championship. Sonoma comes in with a 6-0 league record after defeating Cal Poly 6-4 in the semis. Stanford went 4-2 in league play and survived a 10-9 match against Cal in the semifinals yesterday. <laughs> Sonoma is on attack early in the game, but Zach Ellison makes a textbook save on Moraski's shot, and four minutes into the game, midfielder Thomas Barger scores to put Stanford up 1-0. Sonoma strikes back as senior attack Riddle's bounce shot finds the back of the net, and then at the three minute mark, Barger gets his second, and Stanford leads 2-1. Dylan Fannin makes a stop, and then with 30 seconds left, Gillian feeds Tomita, and the game is tied 2-all at the end of the first quarter. At the 11 minute point of the second quarter, Sonoma's ride breaks up Stanford's attempt to clear, and Kyle Riddle scores from close range. A minute later, Ward's shot puts Sonoma up 4-2. Stanford's defense makes some key stops, and Drew Verk uses two timeouts to slow Sonoma's momentum. With three minutes remaining in the quarter, senior captain Jack Farr pulls the Sonoma defense in, hits Barger with, in the crease, and Stanford trails 4-3 going into halftime. 
Sonoma comes up with the possession to start the third quarter. But a minute into the quarter, Jack Farr beats his defender behind X and scores far posts to tie the game at four all. That goal is good. On the ensuing faceoff, Sonoma comes up with the ball and then Riddle fires one from downtown as Sonoma takes the lead back 5-4. At the five minute mark of the third quarter, Sonoma's man up and Brad Bochesta scores to go ahead 6-4. Two minutes into the fourth quarter, Stanford's offense comes to life as Thomas Barger slums through the Sonoma defense and Stanford trails 6-5. Zach Ellison makes another stop and then after a long offensive possession by Stanford, Jack Farr dodges from X, gets enough separation to score the tying goal. Stanford wins the ensuing faceoff, calls timeout, and then freshman Peter Doyle scores on an alley dodge, and Stanford leads 7-6 with 9.41 remaining in the game. Following another long offensive possession, Stanford's Jack Farr hits Neil Hamamoto, who scores on a behind-the-back shot, and Stanford surges to an 8-6 lead with only six minutes remaining. After a Sonoma timeout with 2.23 left in the game, the Seawolves need two quick goals to force overtime. Senior midfielder Ryan Heydrich, known as Hydro, scores and Sonoma is within a goal with just about two minutes left in the game. Sonoma is on the attack again. Four minutes. Zach Ellison makes his 11th save of the game, and Stanford goes on to win 8-7. The final score! It's Stanford's first WCLL championship since 1982, and with the win, they are headed to Greenville for the MCLA National Championships.
Oh, yeah. 